Okay. There. Starting up. Oh, let's get this open too. I always forget to open the screen. Anyway, this is going to be a tutorial about the tutorial uh, on uh, FS22. Uh, some p people were asking, how do you start this game? Is it easy to start this game? Is it complicated? There is a tutorial, which is pretty good. So I thought I'd do a little tour of it for you. Get this up. Share that with Facebook. And we are good to go. So when you start the game up, career mode, um, there's a suggestion in the, the right hand corner there uh, visit farming simulator.com slash academy, and, and that is quite good. That's a good start then for the tutorial. But there also is an in-game tutorial that I'll run. So uh, when you first start up, you'll have all empty slots, but pick an empty slot. Continue. Um, new farmer gives you some land and stuff. Farm manager, uh, big bag of money. Uh, you don't have any stuff. Start from scratch, that's hard. You got nothing. So let's start a uh, new farmer. And let's pick and choose maps. I click here. Go across. So Perdon, Rat. What else do I have? I have No Man's Land. That's a mod that I've added. But that. So Elm Creek. A lot of people do Elm Creek. Um, this pops up for me for the mods, but I. I would say, don't worry about mods right now. These are mods that I've downloaded from the Mod Hub. Start off with no mods, just till you get going. So I've deselected everything, we will start the game. Oh, it takes a while to load. Oh, on a PC, by the way. So I'll show you... Um, I'll take you through the tutorial and I'll show you what some of the what some of the keys do. Start. Now you can uh, go through and change shirts and hats and all sorts of things. Uh, you know, select, 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 then finally escape, confirm. Would you like a short guided tour? This will teach you the basics of the game. Yes, we're going to do this. To your left, at the edge, is a big green harvester. Head over there and touch the exclamation point. Your lower left is the map. And the number 9 key turns that on and off and cycles through different modes. Large blue diamond. It's worth it. I won't show you that yet. So 9 toggles on map view and uh, S, W, A, and D. It's the classic, you know, forward, back, left, and right. And says in the bottom there, okay, with the belts. Now let's, um, I'm going to change some settings before we get going. So if I hit the escape key, I get a menu on the left. Gives me the choice of some settings here. <coughs> Excuse me, auto save is every 15 minutes. That's good. Time scale, let's set that to one. Let's put the economic difficulty to normal. Let's leave the traffic on. Seasonal growth. We're not going to do seasons yet. Um, seasons means it's a it's a great feature. It means you have to take into account the the month and the temperature and the rainfall and everything when you plant, plant and harvest and stuff. So I'm going to turn that off. One day for month. I'm going to fix the month on. Uh, let's fix it on July. So it's always going to look like July, even though the game will cycle through 
every day it's going to go through to a new month. But turn the snow off because crop destruction off. Uh, this can be annoying at the beginning. You drive over something and you crush it. Periodic plowing, we've turned that off, and that is for root crops, really. That just means you have to plow or not after you corn, beets. Stones, let's turn stones off. They're annoying. Lime card, let's turn that off. Leads, leads. The lead leads on. Dirt, normal. Automatic engine start. Um, I like to leave this off. Then when you hop out of a vehicle, it keeps running. Now, if you leave it running and forget about it, you're eating up maintenance costs, but sometimes you want it. Stop and go braking. Yes, trailer fill limit that off for now. You'll use leave that at normal. This trailer fill means that uh, you might have a 40,000 liter trailer but you find you can only put 33,000 into it because the particular crop is too heavy. Uh, I turn all this off for the AI workers because um, let them buy stuff. They tend to uh, Hey, through the nose. It's not their money, I guess. Okay. So, help into on, colorblind, do, to do, to do. I have dollars, kilometers, Celsius, and hectares, because that's where I live. Where I live. I don't use the radio, because I stream. Do, to do, to do. It's the same. I mean. Speedometer shows the RPM. That's nice to have. Volume, uh, let's put it up to Okay, I think we're ready to go. So, space to save the game. Okay, <clears throat> so we were supposed to walk over, so we will walk over. I use the mouse so I can get direction here. Okay. This is one of the fields you own. Wheat. Time for you to enter. E to enter. Um, okay. Now, E won't work because what they don't mention is you have to get over close to it. And often with combines, we'll see if it works for this one, often you have to go to the side that has the ladder. That one's good. Okay, attach the header that's sitting in front of it. This helps the, pa the help panel on the top left shows the functions that are currently available. You can say, what help panel? Q is to attach the tool. Okay, there's the help panel. So F1 turns that on or off. And that little icon up there, oh look, there's a deer in the middle of the road. Deer. That little uh, icon there, another one, shows what you're pointing at. So we are currently, we want to attach. We'll have to unfold the harvester first, so by the icon you can see in the top left we're at the harvester, so. Oh, please start the engine first. So, enter key starts the engine. Okay, Q. Now, unfold the harvester. Turn it on. Okay. So, we have to change, use the G the G button highlight the harvester that top icon and X to unfold oh that opens that bit that bit gets it ready okay G to go back to the front thing and B key I've got a map to uh, my G29 buttons but use B key Turn it on. Drive forward into the heat. Wheat. 
can adjust the speed manually or use Maximum speed is determined by the vehicle. Um, and I also should add, it's also can be limited by how well uh, repaired your vehicle is. Now you can use the, I believe C, yes, C toggles the view from inside or outside. Got that little wheel spinning around there, so let's drive ahead. Right, go left. Stop, go backwards if we want. Here we go. So far, so good. Thanks to hire helpers. I tend to do everything myself and just enjoy the journey, but helpers work a lot better in this version too. So whenever a helper can be, job can be executed by a helper, they'll let you know. Okay, and you see on the top left there's a little H, hire a worker. There they are. So, it'll cost you, but helpers are good for things, the repetitive, um, Things like uh, going up and down and cultivating or seeding or harvesting a field. They're really bad at, you know, wandering around and picking up a swath of straw or stuff like that. X to the harvester or walk to the next exclamation point indicated on the map. So E to exit. There we are out. Uh, now the next exclamation point on the map also is marked by this green, nicely marked by this green column. So W, we can walk over there. W and shift, we can run over there. There's our farmhouse, there's a shed, there's a silo for putting grain in, there's a barn for cows and stuff. We can explore that after. we are. We have several tractors. Fields have been harvested, need to be cultivated. Okay. Enter the tractor and hatch the cultivator behind it. E for enter and Q attach tool. Of course. Ah, and there's a weight in front too. Okay, so E. So, Q. Attach tool. And Q to attach the weight, as uh, you'll probably need that to counteract. There we go. Now lower the cultivator and drive over the field. G, as remembered, I mentioned G changes that little icon that you'll see to switch the tool select. Hit the G and notice that little tractor icon. We're now we're right now we've we're focusing on the weight. Now the tractor. Now the tool. So uh, start the engine because we don't have it on. And lower the cultivator. E key. Now we're okay. <clears throat> we're okay to do it here. Uh, the game will not cultivate the pavement. Oh, here we are cultivating. You notice the way the field changes when we cultivate it? Different pattern. Okay. Well done. Hire another helper. Certainly. Let's switch to one of the other tractors. Use the switching feet. Cycle through. Okay, tab is the switch, and left tab, control tab, tab through. So, there's the next one. Oh, what's this one here? 
Uh, attach. No, I'll tell you. This is attach a cedar. Let's, I think we need to get out here. Yeah. It feels that we cultivate are ready to be sewn. You need a sewing machine. Get back in and attach the machine. Okay. E to get in. Q to attach it. E. Get in. Start the engine. Okay. Now let's attach the tool in the back. G to get the tractor again. Now let's go. Sewing machine you just attached. I think I I, I think I managed to drop and we pick up the weight of it. Already filled with seeds. Once you run out, you'll have to refill it with a seed bag brought from, bought from the shop. We'll find the shop after. Time to sow since it's August. Only crop that can be sown. That guy. At this time of year is canola. Change the seed type three times until you have canola selected. Select the C with the Y, lower the tool, and turn the tool. Now you'll notice in the top left, if you've got that window up, it also shows you, tells you what it is, because the icons can be bottom right by this monitor. That's that's wheat, okay. Now it's barley, okay. Now it's oats, okay. Now it's canola, okay. So unfold this. You often have to unfold the tool. So X unfolds the cedar. I don't know what that did. Nothing very magic. Um, B will lower it. Okay. And B, I'm going to turn it on. Now this one also has a ridge marker if you want. If you hit the Z key, and you hit it again, it'll put a ridge marker out on one, onto the side. So when you come back down the field, there'll be a little, be a, there'll be a series of marks that you can center your tractor on. It'll be just the right width. Well, though, because I think the AI is the, you know, a helper is going to finish. Yes, you can continue if you want to hire another helper. to know what plants to be sown, consult the crop calendar and the menu anytime to get an overview. Okay, switch to the next tractor. Okay. The uh, crop calendar will be over here if you have if you have seasons turned on. I know we do not. So let's do H or somebody and let's jump out with the E key and let's um, I'm sure what the AI work was blocked by possibly by me Ah, as soon as the harvester's tank is full, you can unload. I up on the tractor and attach the trailer to it. Okay. So I'll walk over to the tractor. An E. And are we attached? Nope. So Q to attach. Drive next to the harvester until your trailer alongside it and open the cover of your trailer. The pipe will start extending. If you're in the correct position, the wheat will start pouring out. Okay, back a bit, an N there. Oh, enter to start the engine. Okay, uh, drive over to the left. And the pipe's not out. For some reason the pipe doesn't go out, so uh, we have to change can tab or we can just E to exit and run around here and E to get in here 
Now let's turn that on with the enter key. And let's pr press O. That puts the pipe out. Okay. Now let's get out of there. Now that's why we've left the engine on auto start. Or you know, that engine setting, because that means the engine keeps going in the harvester when we get out and the pipe will work. So let's pull ahead a bit. There we go. There's the harvester emptying. So oh, nice. Wait until that's done. Drive your tractor with the trailer to the spot indicated on the map and touch the exclamation mark there. Okay. Close the cover. Where's the spot on the map? I'm not seeing it. Let's press the 9 key to make the map. Oh, we have to right click. click OK with the mouse, yes. Uh, oh, it's way up there in the corner. Oh, 9 will give you a ginormous map. So here's us down by fields 40, 41, 52. That's our farm. We gotta go way up there with this, though. So. Uh, nine gets rid of that. This first one gives a little map that turns as you drive. So let's use F1. Take that, turn that off. Oh, should, uh, before we're finished, we actually should practice good housekeeping and, uh, Get in here and get the pipe back in, and let's press the enter key to turn off the engine. Get back in our tractor here. Okay, that's the gas. This guy got to do. Okay, here's the little uh, mini mall gas station. If we need gas, you just go have to go across the street and gas up, which is handy. If you need to get repaired, you go back to the shop, buy things, you can also get repaired there. You can ride inside too. I'm not good at riding inside when I'm trying to do crops and stuff. I can't really tell where the corner of the harvester or the seed or whatever is. Especially the whatevers. If you look on the top right, we have our money, and the money is gradually disappearing because we have some uh, helpers that are spending our money. Whoa! I didn't really look carefully, did I? There is traffic. Uh, so that's our money. Uh, it's 8.25 in the morning. The one means our speed is set to one time. Um, want that. We're heading down the road here. I'm going to turn up towards get this up here again. We're heading towards that exclamation point there. And they also give you a green column. And up here, I've been here before. We'll sell the wheat. Once we sell the wheat, I think that's the end. Oh no! After the after we sell the wheat, I think then we'll, we get to go back to the shop and, and check out the shop where you buy stuff. I 
out, lady. Fresh produce, okay. This unloading station, one of the places where you can sell your harvest. You can check the current prices of all products by opening the menu and going to the prices screen. Move the tractor so the trailer is located right over the pit. You get the unload symbol. And unload the pellet. Oh. There we go. You notice there's that little eye in the bottom of the screen? Start overloading. Not sure why they not unloading. There we go. Gate. Bottom right, you can see our quantity going there. We're done. Nicely done. Let's drive over to the shop where the final exclamation mark icon is indicated. Okay. Open close cover. N. This is the that menu, the price menu that they talked about. Oh, saving. Thank you. Is uh, this one right here? Shows us the wheat can be sold uh, at four different places. Goldcrest Valley, I think to sell to Goldcrest Valley, it's a higher price. That means to sell it at Goldcrest Valley, you have to, you take it to a grain silo that's by the train tracks. You put it in the train silo, and then you walk around to the track side that set up. And there's a little icon where you can call the train. And you can rent it for a thousand dollars an hour. When the train comes, you hop, get in the train, and you load it up with your train. Then you drive the train ahead towards the edge of the map, where it will say that it's heading to Goldstream, Goldcrest. And did you want to sell your product? Yes, but it doesn't let you go. It just kicks you out by the side of the track. So it gives you a better price, but it's just letting you know it's more cumbersome. Here's the prices of everything, and it'll show you how much you have, too. So if we had some wheat, some of that wheat in our silo, it would show it here as quantity we have. Barley, lower gum, all the prices. Okay. To the shop. Lower gum, shop. Lock money on this game, don't I'll go through some of the other menus after it. Watch it if you want. Stop after we finish this tutorial and fire up the game yourself. If you have any questions, feel free to uh, feel free to leave a comment. I'll be glad to help. I can even I can even go on a farm with you. One one multiplayer mode. Invite me to your farm, and then I can farm with you chat on Discord. Okay, I'm going to set my crew set to a couple of buttons. And if you can see in the bottom now, the below the speedometer, it's turned, it's, there, it's 39 and the cruise control also is, I click that button again, goes off. White again, and blue. Cruise. It's nice when you're doing long, long fields, back and forth. And you get 
your right foot gets tired being cramped on the, on the brake, or your finger gets cramped up being jammed onto that W key. I'll um, go through the various menus after it. icon. Our farm. So the helpers have all finished. I'll look at the um, economy after and a lot of money. Helper. Nighttime, you can use the F key to turn your lights on. Tractor. Those. Super lights. and the shop here. There we go. Tap the brakes to get the roll off. And it's doing drive up to here and it will say this is where you can sell your vehicles and tools or buy new equipment. Visit the shop in person, activate it, or trigger it anywhere by pressing the button show. That's the end of the tour. Visit the help menu. Good luck and have. Okay. So, here's the help menu. You press escape and you get this long menu left. Scroll down to the bottom. Uh, this shows you a lot of information about. Plowing and cultivating. Weeds are not removed. You can remove weeds by uh, using a basic weeder, or if they've just planted, or if it is, uh, if they've grown a little higher, then you have to use a hoe rather than just a basic weeder. If they've grown even higher, then you have to spray them. Spray them with herbicide. There's a penalty, but there's a bigger penalty if you leave the reed, the weeds there. Uh, is it twenty percent? Sorry, I forget. Uh, there's like fifteen or twenty percent penalty if you leave weeds on your field, and you have to should fertilize twice because you'll get bonus every time you fertilize. Percent, you can roll a field, and you get after you after you smooth it out. After you uh, seed it, so this is the shows us that. Well, let's go right to the top here. Okay, this shows our fields. This is also where if you hit Q, and you're in this menu, save game. Space to save game and backspace with the game. So back up here. So this map shows all the different crops that you can grow color coded nicely. There's a filter for different crop types. They do not show grass the other way. Grass is off by default, so if you're starting to grow grass, then you have to click that on. 71 suddenly visible. So there's that filter. And there's a filter for what stage things are in. Uh, whether it's stubble tillage, you have just basically you've just harvested, or then it's cultivated. 
plowed, depending on what kind of crops it is you need to cultivate or plow. Then uh, if you, after you've done that, then it will become in a seed bed condition and then you can plant on it. Once you started planting, it's going to go through all these stages depending on how many months that particular crop takes. If you've got one day per month, then that's how many days. Ready to harvest, harvested. Sometimes you have to remove foliage, like for half the top, I think, your sugar beets. And withered. If you've got withering turned on, uh, leave that withered off. So, if withered on, it means that you can lose a crop if you don't get around to harvesting it. Soil composition. So this is showing weed growth. Click that. Takes all those things off. That's showing all the different weeds. These ones that are brown, that's where they've been sprayed and the are dead. Or this one here, no weed growth at all. Let's turn the weed off. So underneath that weed is then the overlay for fertilized. Light blue is one, one coverage, dark blue is two. Let's turn that off. Uh, we don't have any fields that good. We don't have anybody that's mulched. Mulching is running a special tool over the stubble after your harvest. So we can turn. Um, if you want to just look at a particular thing, like just at vehicles or just, to, or not look, not look at, I don't know, not look at loading stations, you can turn those off. If you want to, that there. Over here at the left, this shows us active workers. We've got none. This shows us the, our weather. Now, I think we had one day per month. So today is August. Uh, when we run through this game, once we get to the end of the day in the game and sleep at the farmhouse, the um, it'll be September, and the weather is nice. Rain in January. And that uh, I don't use the uh, these are the prices as I said this is an overview of the vehicles you've got showing how long you've had them how many hours you've got the more hours you have the more they need maintaining all done 100 percent nothing's leased and this is this is the this is how much inventory you've got in dollars Here's your finances. So far for today, we have, go down. We've made 2,372 with harvest. We spent 528 on those, har on those helpers, so that's not bad. We have no animals. You can also take contracts to make, um, to um, make money, either using your equipment, or if you click on this thing, you borrow the items. So lose a bit, but it's an opportunity to see how to do different things too. You can harvest oats, harvest canola, spray with herbicide, spray with herbicide, that would be a big one. Thanks. Now, when you're spraying, taking a contract for spraying or seeding, you have to go to the shop and you have to buy the spray or the herbicide. So. You know, you might lease the equipment for a thousand and you might put another thousand worth of herbicide in there. So that's okay, but still 10 is how big 10 is. Production chains, we don't have any of those yet. This is all the stats you would ever want. Here's the game settings. 
and keyboard controls if you want to do key bindings. Keyboard or gamepad. I have a G29, so binded. I'm binded to that. Um, but I think that's all, really, for a tutorial. Just enough to get you going. You know, go back to the farm here. Try not to hit a car. I usually turn traffic off just because I get tired watching for traffic. Uh, now, we don't have... If we look at our fields, let's... Right back to our farm for got it to the floor, and we're doing. Yeah, 39k. So this is just rocketing along this tractor. It's not a huge tractor. When you're first buying equipment, um, what I do is I try to I try to figure out what sort of equipment I'm going to have, and it's kind of hard to know. Um, but I've, you know, if I'm setting up a medium size, medium size equipment harvester and seeding and stuff like that, a cultivator. What I would do is I uh, hit P, goes to the vehicles, and hit the second thing, which is tool. So maybe maybe my big I'm gonna worry about cultivators, so double click on cultivators. This little one so they do width and they also have a horsepower equipment requirement. So this one was two and a half meters. Um if you use the bar on the bottom, roll across. Uh, this one does 15.7 meters. It also needs a 500 horsepower tractor to drag it. And it's overkill for these fields, really. So, um, medium tractor, large tractor, like I say, you probably could get rid of the tractor, one of the tractors you you probably are going to want to start using fertilizer, a cheap way of fertilizing here to down fertilizer spreaders. You got one of these. Go down here. Combinations. This combinations uh, shows you what sort of things work with it. In this case, it's just weights. It's not very, very exciting, but it'll show you, if you're looking at a harvester, it'll show you which headers are best suited to that. So. So this one, anyways, you can customize it. You can add an extension on top if you want. There's another thirteen hundred dollars. Uh, did you want a cover or not? I don't know. Do you want spreading discs or not? More money. So this you could use for uh, fertilizer. If you wanted to. And you can lease equipment too, right? this I mean I could buy this 45,000 but if I lease it lease it for 2300 so if I'm just going to be using it you know if you're using something once on a blue moon I'll just lease it tractor I usually buy the tractor uh, another tip I guess would be if there's a particular tractor that you like lease it and use it for a day or two because after you finish the lease usually what happens is goes here. Sorry, this one. This little percentage thing. This is the thing for grapes. Here's a 8R. This is a big ass tractor. It's 60, almost 60% off, you know, which is quite good. This one smaller. This little scoop. That does, but like I said, you can lease that. Now, people have said that uh, and the used tractors, they depreciate faster than a new tractor. But I don't know. Get this tractor for half price. I'm sure. Awesome. 
Um, I think that's... that's all really. That's all I can think of. So enjoy your, um, enjoy your, enjoy the game. Like I said, there's that tutorial link, the Academy, uh, that was on the first screen. And there's also the tutorial that I just ran through. And there are tons and tons and tons of people's videos. A lot of them probably too complicated, but eventually they get there. So have fun. Take care. Thank you for uh, watching. And I'll talk for now.